Cully's Story, An Orphaned Polar Bear Rescue. Grr, growled the small, fluffy white bear as the man pulled him out of the icy den. Please don't bite me, little one, whispered the man. I'm only trying to help. Your mama just died. Without her, you won't last long out here by yourself. I have to get you some help. With that, the man revved up his snowmobile and raced the baby polar bear to his village for help. The villagers tried to feed the polar bear cub some milk, but like human newborns, the baby bear drank from his mother, not a bowl or a cup. They named the cub Cully after their village. As the three-month-old bear rested in the police hall, villagers rushed to find a dog crate big enough to hold the fuzzy cub. The villagers pulled Cully on a plane and sent him to a wildlife vet and her team in North Slope Borough. The vet checked Cully and said he was healthy enough for another plane ride to the Alaska Zoo. Mm. It was just before midnight when Cully arrived at the zoo. Some polar bears huff or squeak when they're upset. Not Cully. He was hungry. He eagerly drank from a bottle filled with fatty puppy formula and whipping cream. Since the Alaska Zoo already had two adult polar bears, this would just be a foster home until a permanent home could be found for him. For the next three months, the playful young cub romped in his snowy habitat with the keepers. In time, Cully began to eat solid food like salmon and polar bear nuggets and to drink water from a metal bowl. Cully also learned to swim, a very important skill for polar bears. Cully practiced his hunting skills by playing with balls, toy dinosaurs, <laughs> and even a teddy bear. Aww. He climbed in and out of things. And then he took lots of naps. Aww. Before long, it was time for Cully to go to another zoo. Although adult polar bears usually live alone, Young bears need friends. Luckily for Cully, U.S. Fish and Wildlife officials found him a new home. At the Buffalo Zoo in New York, a girl cub named Luna was also in need of a friend. To help prepare Cully for his journey, the Buffalo Zoo sent him one of Luna's blankets. The zookeepers hoped that Cully would get used to Luna's scent so he would recognize her when they met. Soon it was time for Cully to take another plane ride. The Alaska Zoo bid farewell to Cully and wished him well in his new life with Luna. During his first days at the Buffalo Zoo, Cully and Luna stayed in separate dens. They could hear and smell, but not see or touch each other. Although they were shy when they first met, they are now best of friends. They cuddle, play, and swim together. Even though he is younger, Cully is now bigger than Luna. Can you tell which polar bear is which? With zookeepers and vets caring for them, Cully and Luna will live happy and healthy lives. There's Cully and Luna. And this is probably Cully since he's bigger. And that's the story. Oops, that's the story. Cully's story, an orphaned polar bear rescue. <laughs>